Welcome to our session about members. During this session, we are going to talk about why you need members, good ways to attract members, online signups, membership numbers, and membership costs. So, why do you need members? Well, to begin with, every society needs at least a minimum of 10 members for this society to be active. It is important to have members as they are the heart of the society and they are the reason you are running your society. Members will help your society grow and develop. They will give you ideas about activities, social events, and trips to do. Members also are potentially the next society committee. But most importantly, your society needs members to exist. There are numbers of ways in which you can attract new members. Some students will just join your society because they, this is something they have done before whereas other students will be motivated by the fact that they want to try something new. But to attract people to your society, you have to be active and be seen doing things. Students will not just join your society if you meet only once a semester or your meetings happen every time in a pub. So you need to put a whole range of constant activities. Make sure that you always have a meet and greet at the beginning of each semester. Use tweaks for example, as your starting point. Always attend freshers or refreshers fair. On this occasion, you have an opportunity to meet approximately 5,000 students in just one day. Be proactive, get up there, do presentations in your lectures, give a shout out. Make sure your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages are always up to date. Also, Make sure that your website mini page has all the information on it about where you meet, the times, and when. Speak to the office about having a sign-up station in the hub or on campus. Also, invite staff, friends, and other society to your events. But have your own events and trips and activities that are fun and are inclusive for all students as well. So, how do you sign up your members? Um, a good way to do this at Freshers and Refreshers is by creating a data capture form so you can email students to let them know about your events. Get students to complete their membership online. This is a very quick and easy process. Let me show you. If a student cannot sign up online, they can come to the KUSU reception and sign up and pay there. Once the student has signed up, they will receive a confirmation email where they will be told that they are a member of your society. If it helps, we can also come along to your sessions and get students to sign up there and then. Just let us know and we are here to help you. With regards to membership numbers, if you want to know who your members are or a list of names, let the office know and they can send you that list to you. Also, if you have regular meetings that happen every week or every two weeks or once a month and you want to know who your members are prior to those meetings, the information can send, um, this information can be sent by the office to you prior to your regular meetings. If a member is not on the list, please let the office know. Send a copy of the confirmation email and they will get everything sorted for you. Due to the data protection, we cannot give you contact details of any members or your society, of your society. So when your members come to your activity or regular sessions, you can collect this information yourself, and this way you can email them if they are happy to give you their details. You will have already confirmed your membership cost to the office for the academic year. The money from your membership will be added to your society bank account at the end of every month. Please note that the first £1.50 is deducted from your membership charge. So all this being said, good luck with recruiting your members. We are looking forward to help you grow your society over the year, but don't forget, my door is always open.